<laughs> That's my pit bull, and I'm like, what is? <laughs> we are gonna go ahead and kick today's video off here in Maryland. We're at Italian Sailing 410's house. We have Hades here behind me. We also have Ben's C63 AMG. And uh, with today's video, you can clearly tell from the title and thumbnail, we are gonna be working on Hades on some cosmetic things. You guys know that I already went ahead, ordered long tubes, a ported manifold, a cold air intake, and uh, as far as the full bolt-on process, that is going to be taken care of here really soon, as soon as everything comes in. Uh, we did take the car to the track, and probably the last video you guys saw, it ran a, actually I'm not gonna tell you what you got, what it ran, you guys need to go watch it. I know a lot of you were begging for track content, I make it, and it doesn't get watched. It, it, anyway, go watch the track video. So we are gonna be spicing up Hades today. You guys know we have Mustang Fest, which we all are attending in about a month or so. And there's a couple of cosmetic things I wanna take care of just to give it, you know, my personal touch. And uh, you know, that's what we're gonna do today. So we got VIP Uber. Your Uber's here, Bendejo. Come to the back. So here we have the 18 through 22 Cervini Series C's or something like that. I don't know grillies, but these good, uh, yeah, these are my absolute favorite You know, I was really dead set on the RTR with the lights and stuff But you know it, it came across a little corny at the end of the day not throwing any hate or anything So um, the next option was the Cervini grills you guys know I rock with Cervini's we I have a hood on my s197 And you guys can also win a free hood come August 12th All you gotta do is click the link in the description for every dollar spent is 10 entries on the website So go do that that a lot of you guys that enter but believe it or not they're extremely hard to find and I went on LMR.com and they just so happened to have the full kit in stock which was again really uh, surprising because they're just hard to find I had them in my shopping cart and I did expediting shipping on it and it came out to like 750 bucks to get it here before the Maryland trip and I, I was sitting there put my card info in and I was like ah, I'm just gonna wait I'm just gonna wait so I followed my gut, I waited, and then later that day, no joke, I had a subscriber, shout out to you, I never got your name, but uh, he sent me a message that this guy here in Maryland, 20 minutes away from our meeting spot where Jake lives, um, was selling the same exact grillies with the whole kit, perfect condition, for literally half the price. So it worked out, it worked out too perfect. I followed my gut, and I tell you what, I usually don't do that. I usually just, if I want something and I know I need it type deal, I just get it, so. You look good in a Mustang, Forget a man. Benz, dude. Get a murdered out 5 He's calling my name. Plows it right into the brick of the garage. Here in my garage today, we're going to be talking about the power of knowledge. If you drink all these waters and you stay hydrated, you will one day own a beast like this here. With the Cervini's grills that we just picked up, there is one last piece of the puzzle that I went ahead and wanted to change on this car. Uh, it's pretty minuscule comparing, you know, to the PP1 package that you do get if you buy uh, this trim. I wanted to go ahead and get a little bit more of an aggressive front lip, and I picked up the RTR version. So we could kind of go look and do a comparison. The PP1 cars come with a really nice factory lip. It's really not bad at all, but this one is going to sit more aggressive. It has better edges on it. And you know, matched up with the new Grillies, it should look phenomenal in the front end. So, um, you know, that's what we're doing today. Got to spice this thing up, get it kind of ready, and make it how I want it. And I'm looking forward to it. So, I think we're just gonna go jack this up. We gotta rip the bumper off and install these grills. That's gonna drive me. Nuts. First step we're gonna do is go ahead and get the car on jack stands up front because we are gonna have to access underneath the bumper to pull all those clips, pull the plastic tray. Uh, we are replacing the, the chin spoiler, so you know we're gonna have to pull all those tabs. They go all the way around. And uh, the great thing about a lot of these aftermarket lips is that they're direct fitment, so there's really no cutting, drilling, new screws. All the factory bolts from the PP1 at least. Check out the Velo Wave. Yes, sir. Yo, Velo Wave, yeah. This wasn't free. I paid premium price for this. <laughs> Send me one. Please. I made a hundred bucks off you. Yeah, you really did. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, pump her up. All right, dude. You have to scream at me. 
Oh, fuck. Damn it. Cap. Cap. <laughs> I'm just stuck it under there. I don't know if you just want to know. It's going up. Little well, motherfucker, my rocker panel's gonna fall off. I put it on the right thing, dude. This thing is crusty, dude. You know, That's just fucking, come on, focus. <laughs> I don't know you're not gonna say putting my hand under there. Whoever was in Ford and was like, oh yeah, we're gonna put these clips here. They're all perfect. Push pin, you were smoking methamphetamine. <laughs> Hunter Biden smokes. So you we're about to pull the engine block out right now. Dude, I'm doing all the work right now. Bro, <laughs> I need your tool set. You're not giving me your tool set. He's got one tool and he's like, dude, I'm doing everything. <laughs> this is pulled, one tool that pulls off a radiator cover. <laughs> I, I meanwhile I pulled that bolt from bare fucking hand. Where? Right there! They didn't even install this shit. <laughs> That's Tarek. That's me. In comparison. You versus the guy should tell us not to worry about. <laughs> Pretty much. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> when you work on a black car, what you want to do is let every tool touch the paint. We just got done pulling all the bolts, all the side bolts. Um, it's really not hard. It's just more of a tedious thing, you know? But there she goes. Dude, the crash parts on these are so much smaller. You don't I need that. Did that. You don't need that. Let's just unbolt that. Save a little yeah. bit of weight. Yeah, some more weight. But that is pretty nice how they made it a lot more compact. Um, is the crash one in the bumper? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's see how they did that. I'm just gonna go and um, you know, there's some instructions. Unfortunately, with the Cervini's, like it's a lot more in, in like intricate than just like you know popping them in, popping them out. For some reason, I don't know why there's so much more to this, but. There's like brackets and all this hardware and stuff, so we gotta do that as well. Um, but I mean, it, it really shouldn't be hard. It's just we're gonna pop those in, swap the lip, pop everything back into place, push pin everything back in, wheels back on, and that's our little front end conversion. So uh, we're just gonna keep trucking and show you bits by bits, so let's get it. With the front lip, you do have approximately like 10 bolts that hold it alongside six or so push pins, which I guess is, you know, it's a good thing. It's a pain in the ass, yes, but at least you know your lip's not gonna fly off. When you plow into a crowd. Yeah, when you go when you and crash into a crowd, angle. you need like, you need a lip that's gonna secure and cut people, you know, you don't need something that's gonna give in. <laughs> you need someone to get a shin, a shinner, just fucking destroy their shin with it. Yeah. Do you mean just rip this thing off or are you done? Like, what are you doing? Hold on, bitch. Hold on. Oh, what the this is, dude, why, we have a lift. What are we doing? Why the fuck am I on the ground? That's a beautiful Atlas lift. <laughs> Just... All right, guys, if you want to buy this lift, uh, message me, tiny sign 410 Get the glue, man. What kind Bro. of cameraman eats like I this? I know. What are you talking about? Well, I just got to punch you. Why is stuff in his fat fucking face? Why'd you we have my Cheetos up here? The Cheetos We just up. ate. We had it at 10. It's 12.35. Exactly. Yeah. No, two and a half hours ago. Right. You're, you're talking. I'm a diesel truck. <laughs> Derek's like a Tacoma though. I'm like an Annie level Cummins, jacked up on some 44s, <laughs> super swampers. All right, we are all complete on this bottom lip here. It looks so much better, even on the ground. Um, it definitely has a bigger presence as far as the angle um, coming out of the bottom. Yeah, it's gonna look really, really nice, especially with the upgraded. Um, if you see the Mesh fitment part. here, it is better than any Mercedes ever made. I mean, I don't know. Because I'm the I don't tech know. that assembled this. Yeah, okay, so Jake's taking uh, credit yeah, for all this. Yeah, I'm gonna take full credit. He's, he's, he's just throwing shade at everyone. Even it is me. nice fitment. I mean, it's, no, it actually came out really it's good. butter. We did, I think we did a really good job. Um, but yeah, I don't get paid for this, I might have to fight someone. Yeah, and that's My right there. My neck is stiff as can be right now. <laughs> Completely locked up. <laughs> Oh, workers bad. comp, you little workers yeah, yeah. comp in there. OSHA is about to come out. I was wearing, look at that jack. That jack's yeah, that's shit definitely. Over there. Yeah. Now that the lip's done, we have the fun part, and that's gonna be the Cervini's grill inserts. That's gonna be fun. So we're gonna tackle that now, and uh, we're gonna look over some instructions before we do this. Yo, how do we feel about this right now, bro? Truthfully, the clips are the hardest part about all this. They're, they're so stupid. We just got mind. this grill part out, and all these bro. little tabs. They're insane, they're stupid, but we gotta do the bottom as well. So we're gonna get this bottom knocked out, we're gonna start the installation. A couple things we gotta do, specialty Dude. for these grills for some reason, but we're gonna do them and go from there. Just to show you how these Cervini grills work, as you can see, Jake is throwing in a bracket and they're actually held by those brackets you're looking at right here. 
Uh, then you don't utilize the stock tabs, believe it or not. So that's actually pretty cool. It's a little more tedious, but I can see where the quality control definitely came in when designing these. All right, Derek, where are we at? All right, so the grills are in. We have these support beams that Servini includes. I guess it's just to really support, you know, the bumper or the grill. So we have those installed. I got a crash foam 3M. This actually doesn't go and get re-clipped into the bumper. So you have to clean it, 3M it to the crash bar. And I mean, it's not going anywhere. And once it's in the bumper, it's going to be fine. But uh, yeah, hey, grab that side. Let's do like a quick little mock-up. It's actually a lot easier than I thought. Yeah, it's, it's just Damn. time consuming. The thing could be that heavy. What? The bumper, I feel like it got a lot heavier. No, I don't think so. You're going to lose a race now. <laughs> Tripping on that rock. Watch, watch. Tripping on that crap crap. If you guys need a bumper done, just hit us up. <laughs> oh, dude, that's gonna look good. I don't know. I want the grills in. Or I no? think I like the grills because it kind of, it kind of. I mean, not, it does kind of cover up the silver from the radiator. Yeah, I don't like the silver in the radiator. You don't? I, no, I don't. I like that a lot. Do me just spray paint no, the radiator. Dude, I, I like that look, right. to be honest. Let's get this bolted on. Let's stop at the mall. Give me some new white vans. I picked the wrong day to wear these. Upper and lower grill installation. I would say give yourself a good two hours, realistically, just because, you know, you gotta take the bumper off, there's a bunch of, like, just bolts, pins, blah, 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 and don't worry, um, I'm gonna torque these at a later date, you guys just aren't gonna see it on film, but, um, trigger. it's not hard, it's just a tedious job. And, Definitely um, would advise having more than one person. You said what? Definitely would advise having more than one person, too, yeah, to help with the pins. Person definitely help but overall let me pull it out here I'm very excited because I think that with the RTR is an elite like fucking combo for real yeah. so I'm very very excited give you the full effect shut the hood pull it out give you a full walk around I think it's gonna look pretty sick so let's get it <laughs> the stance the foot You're form I'm just trying to help all right let's go dude here we go Call me a four tech. Oh, Woo! I like that. That definitely looks better than the stock shit, that's for sure. Sorry about the rain, but oh yeah, that looks so much better. What do you think? A lot better than stock, so huh? Much yeah. I'm just worried about the front lip yeah. once you put the wheels on. What wheels? Yeah, what wheels? <laughs> <laughs> nice little upgrade, Servini C Series upper and lower grillies with the RTR bottom lip. Definitely gives it more ground effect look. Um, yeah, I love it. Like, look at this angle. That looks sweet. We got some other goodies coming for it, so just stay tuned for that. But with that, guys, that's probably going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. I just wanted to go ahead and get some cosmetic things done before Mustang Fest and the next tour. Uh, this is step one. We have a lot more to go, so if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Click that bell notification icon. Drop a like up on this video. Drop a comment. Um, yeah, I'm stoked. I'm just glad it's over with because it's just... It's just a little, lot of little shit. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And with that, guys, we will catch you in the next video. But until next time, we'll see you later.